Hello everyone. As an aspiring art educator, I know how challenging it can be to come up with new and creative art lessons for your students. Today's society is faced with many environmental issues that I believe are important to talk about with students in the art classroom. So today I will be teaching you a fun and sustainable art lesson, which you can implement into your curriculum and modify to fit any grade level. We will be learning how to make and teach a sustainable birdhouse lesson, which utilizes everyday materials, leading your students to make new discoveries about themselves as artists in an eco-friendly way. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that you will need is some white paint. This will be your primer to prime your body of your birdhouse. Then you'll need colored paint to paint over your prime layer. You'll need outdoor materials such as sticks, leaves, acorns, anything you can find outside. And most importantly, you will need an empty milk carton. This will be the body of your birdhouse. You can also use um, the small milk cartons. They work just as great, they're just a little smaller. Then you will need a box cutter or an X-Acto knife. You will need a paint sponge or a paintbrush, some school glue, a hot glue gun, and hot glue sticks. And then you will need some string or a hanging material to hang your birdhouse and then decorative materials. So before you begin construction of your birdhouse, it's important to have some essential questions to go over with your students. Also talk about some relating artists. These are some ones that I went over. And talk about some outdoor safety and rules because you will be taking your students outside for this lesson to collect outdoor materials if you have access to the outdoors. These are some clips of my students collecting materials for their birdhouses to use to decorate. To start this lesson, the first thing you wanna do is prime all of your milk cartons with white paint. I did two to three layers of paint on each carton and I decided to do this myself because I taught this to third graders. So it gave them extra time to decorate and it was also a lot less messy. The next step is to have your students draw out a window with a writing utensil. This can be any shape they want. I just chose to do a half circle for now. After that, you're going to use your X-Acto knife or box cutter and cut out the window shape. Depending on what age group you're teaching, you might want to assist your students. I personally cut out all of my students' windows since this is a safety hazard. The next step is to have your students paint their birdhouses. I let my students pick three to four colors to start and then if they needed more later, I let them pick a different color. I let my students paint whatever they wanted on their birdhouses as long as it was school appropriate. It's really cool to see the different designs that they come up with and each of their birdhouses really reflects their personalities. For my birdhouse, in my example, I just did a little ombre effect with blue, pink, orange, and yellow. And then once you're done painting, just let your acrylic paint dry before you begin decorating. The next step is to create a hole for a perch. This is an optional step, but if they want to do this, they can just take a writing utensil and punch a hole in the center of their birdhouse. Then using one of the sticks they collected, they can insert that into the hole to act as a perch. The hot glue gun comes in handy here because you might have to secure the stick for them. Then they can use their school glue to glue leaves or other items on their birdhouses. I had some students add gems like I am or googly eyes. Then once they are done decorating, you can add string to the top to hang it up and they should have a finished sustainable birdhouse. These are some clips of what some of my students' birdhouses looked like when they were all finished. They got really creative with the different materials that they wanted to use to hang them up. I really enjoyed the different color paints that they chose and some students even used markers to draw on top of their dried paint. Overall, they seem to really enjoy the sustainable birdhouse lesson. And I think this is a great lesson to teach your students, especially if you want to promote environmental awareness and sustainability. To close this lesson with your students, you can encourage them to take them home and fill them up with bird seed and hang them outside. I hope you all enjoyed this lesson and thanks for watching.